What's going on guys, it's Editing Jack here, and before we start the video, I'm looking at my analytics, and it says 99.5% of you guys who are watching these videos aren't even subscribed. So before we begin the video, subscribe down below for me, let's get to 500 subscribers. Thanks a lot guys, let's get to the video. What's going on everybody? In today's video we're going to be fishing a pond this afternoon and we're going to be looking for pre-spawn bass and also looking for early spawners. Um, I was out here the day before yesterday I believe and I saw a couple nice fish, male and female, looking for a place to bed and of course it was like right below me where I'm fishing at but that being said I really think there's a possibility we can find some fish spawning. Uh, I'm throwing soft plastics and a hard baits. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly what I'm using once I get to the spot. So without further ado guys, let's get to the spot. Okay guys, so I'm being real quiet because I just see some, some nice fish. This cruise. But I got me a hard bait, which is a vegan squad clutch. And then I got me a uh, race tail cutter worm. And I'm climb up here. And we're, um, this way because right there I saw a nice fish. <laughs> oh, that water's good. Yeah, that water got colder. So these fish want to spawn, but they don't know if they should or not, and it's like, it's contradicting to them. It's like they want to, but they don't know if they should. Alright guys, taking a quick, quick, quick little audible, and... We're gonna go to another pond near the house. Actually, it's literally right around the corner. But there'll be more places to look for fish, and the sun will be in front of me, so the fish won't really be able to see my shadow. So maybe I'll be able to sneak up on some fish. But without further ado, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, so let me just give y'all a rundown of what I'm doing, really. Um, I'm looking to see if I can't spot any fish that are on beds already, or, if I can find any fish that aren't on beds yet and already pulled up or I can cast far enough where I hit where the fish are being staged at and uh, hopefully I can catch me some fish. I think I got one. Yep. Yep. Not a bad one. A little cute one to start. A little creature bait. Not a bad little springtime bait. Hey, look how lit up he is beautiful like almost golden color it's awesome he's cold as far as cold thank you buddy all right so i caught that one fish in that one little brush pile makes me feel good oh. almost slipped the if there's any fish on beds or in any of these little shallow water coves. Cause let me tell you dude, these little like pockets right here, money for spawning fish. The sun is blinding me. All right, I see a bass growing fry. That's sight fish, this bass, I mean, he's like right in front of me. Oh, 
Oh, he's like nosing it. Oh. He had his mouth. He's still there. Oh, that's what happened. He like had his mouth where like the hook was like in the plastic. I can't see where he is now. Yeah, I can. Got him. Oh my god, he finally ate it. Look at that. I just sight fished this fish. That is insane. Look at that. I just sight fished him. If I get anything in the comments, his bed or fryer like right there. So I'm gonna put him, point him in the direction. He's gonna swim out there. And he's already turning back this way. I could be a butthole and catch him again if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. Alright guys. That same fish I sight fished earlier. I am looking right at him. It's like I just can't help but wonder if fish were already starting to spawn. Oh my gosh, dude. That's not a bad one. Holy crap. He just annihilated it. Chunky, chunky fish. Not a bad one at all. Okay, but thanks, buddy. In case, in case y'all are curious what that fish came on, I'll just show you guys the rig I'm using. I'm using a four rod ewg quarter ounce weight a strike king rage tail rage bug my favorite my favorite creature bait of all time arguably not arguably it is in the green pumpkin color because green pumpkin imitates bluegill and one thing bass cannot stand during the spawn is bluegill 15 pound test mono i know some people are going to cringe at that but i have better luck with mono than fluorocarbon and I only use braid when I'm frog fishing or throwing in top water. The combo is a new one which I'm going to do a review video on either in the next video or in a video soon. It is a loose custom XP speed stick 7 foot medium heavy. The reel is a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio reel and to be honest guys I'm in love with this setup but that is for another video. I'm not going to ramble on. I'm just going to keep fishing. all right guys i'm gonna end today's video here on this glorious sunset that's messed up because this camera sucks but that's besides the point if you enjoyed the video subscribe down below and do what editing jack said subscribe down below it's crazy that that many of you all are unsubscribed it's insane but i'm gonna give you all a chance to subscribe so go ahead subscribe down below hit the notification bell so y'all don't miss a single 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 video and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little adventure. Um, it's just, it was just a little little uh, last minute thing I decided to do when I got off work. And um, yeah, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.